Hello everybody and welcome back. This series of videos, the next several videos, is going to be all about HTML. It's going to be a crash course in HTML. This is not going to be everything you need to know about HTML, anything close to that. But it will get you a foundation so that we can build on throughout the rest of the course because a lot of this stuff builds on itself and you'll, you'll find yourself getting better and better at it the more you use it. The objectives for this video series is that you'll be able to write simple web pages using HTML. Um, you're going to use both closing and self-closing tags correctly. You're going to write tags with attributes. You're going to use the Mozilla Developer Network as a reference. And you're going to be able to recreate a web page using HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is not a programming language. Don't ever call it a programming language to programmers because they will laugh at you. It is not a programming language, it is a markup language. It provides structure to your web pages. And as I mentioned in the previous video, it's kind of the nouns of web design language. It's the building blocks, if you will, of web pages. Here's an example of HTML. So you have some boilerplate up here at the top where you've got your doc type, your head and everything, these head tags. Notice how they're nested inside of each other. So all of these tags right here are inside of the head. You can see here that it starts with head and then it has the closing tag right there with a little um, forward slash. Then you've got your body, then you have your closing HTML tag. So all of this kind of nests inside of itself. Generally speaking, this is what HTML looks like. You have the um, brackets with whatever the tag type is there. It could be an H1, could be a P tag or whatever. Then um, your content goes in the middle and then you have a closing tag which is the same brackets as well as a forward slash with the exact same tag name. So if you open a P you would close with slash P. You can nest these tags and they're very often nested. In fact almost always you nest them inside of each other. Here's the uh, HTML boilerplate. There's several pieces to this that this goes in every single HTML um, document ever. It starts with um, doc type HTML. This just lets the browser and the compiler and everything know that hey this is an HTML document. Then you have an opening HTML tag and a closing HTML tag down at the very bottom. That's the very last thing you put in there. Then you have a head which goes at the top and the head is going to have a lot of the metadata that goes along with your website like uh, language and um, the title. So all of your metadata goes in the head. And there's a lot more that goes in there. You add scripts, you add CSS, you add links, you add all kinds of stuff up in there. But none of that is directly shown to the user other than the title. Then the body is where the, all the content of your website goes. All of your um, images and your text and your links and your everything goes in here. HTML comments are open bracket, exclamation mark, and two dashes. To open them and to end them is the exact same thing backwards except without the exclamation mark. So two dashes and the close bracket. And you can also do this on multiple lines. So anything between those two tags will be commented out. <laughs> 